Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is Tuesday morning. I have responded to emails and offers and everything. We're going to make another trip to Waco on Thursday, so I went and got a tire looked at on the truck. But now we have packages. The morning mail pickup has not been by yet, so we're going to try to get some more done. So let's get to it. All right, we're going to start the day with a CD. Elizabeth Leonskaja. Uh, it is a classical CD. It is new and sealed. Came from the uh, large estate sale CD buy from, I think, December. We're going to ship it in an 864 box. We'll need to get a sheet of bubble wrap and cut it in half. I really am going to have to go get a uh, roll of this today. I keep uh, not really putting it off, but I'm always, you know, I've been like, yesterday I was trying to list as much as I could. Because I really didn't list last week. And today, same thing. I mean, I'd like to list a whole bunch more. <clears throat> Shoot Put that on there. Holds it nice and tight. Uh, listen to some of the model kits that I bought the other day, yesterday. And I sold one of them. We'll do it up here in just a minute. He, he just needs paid. So, they're already selling, so that's good. This CD sold for $15.75 with free media mail shipping. And it's been listed since January the 13th of this year, 2021. And we'll ship at the 8 ounce rate. And we'll write CD on here. Because our next item also goes in an 864 box. Maybe looking at some more model kits and stuff this afternoon. Not quite sure yet. Need to cut, uh, get a sheet of bubble wrap and cut it in half. The fella who sold me, so far he sold like board games, and uh, he did have some uh, Mega Man model kits and I think a Gundam model kit. And he said, you know, he has a storage unit that has a bunch of Gundam model kits in it. So, he's supposed to give a call this afternoon and I'll go take a look. Now we have this Funko Pocket Pop keychain. And it's the Baby Niffler from the Crimes, Crimes of Grindelwald. And this is the Tan Niffler. But it is new and sealed. We'll roll it up in half a sheet of bubble wrap. There we go. It looks like we did sell our house yesterday. I mean, we accepted an offer. So, as long as everything goes through just fine, our house is gone. And so now we get to find a got to find us a new house. Baby Niffler sold for $11.15 with free first class shipping. It's been listed since December the 4th of last year, 2020, and we'll ship at the 4 ounce rate. Alright, now we need a Legionnaire's comic book. Okay. And we have an action figure. One of these sports ones. There it is. Alright. Let's get this stuff in the packing room. So the comic book is Legionnaires, issue number 81, Widening Rifts, part 2. Published by DC, and this will ship in a Gemini mailer. And 
tape it down. And this Legionnaires, I was kind of surprised when I wrote down the price. I thought this was going to be a dollar forty-five, dollar sixty-five comic book, but the Legionnaires issue eighty-one sold for five dollars and eighty-five cents plus shipping, and it has been listed since March the 9th of last year, twenty twenty, and it will ship at the eight ounce rate. And now we have Ladanian, Ladanian Tomlinson, the Chargers running back, or was. This is a McFarlane figure. Uh, let's see. 10. 10. Okay, well. I don't know if this will fit in a 1086 or if I have to go bigger than that. It might fit sideways, <clears throat> what I'm thinking in 1086, but I'm not positive. And this sports figure, I did, uh, the packaging's a little bit rough. And so when I listed it, I, you know, took pictures of it where you can see it's new and sealed. But I, I'm selling it as loose and complete because the packaging is a little bit rough. And no, it won't fit in there at all. Alright, so we'll go with a 1210 eBay branded box. to the box where I put all the bubble wrap and stuff that I get in my orders. Go out here and see if we can find some bubble wrap to use. And then I'm going to use some of these air mailers too because I've been getting a bunch of them as of late. Come on. There we go. Let's get that piece is all together. I'm going to just lay him down on in there. And try to roll the bubble wraps so that it'll hold the figure all nice and won't let it move around or anything. And these air mailers just fit right in there at the top. I think that's a very good package there. Nice and secure. Yep, no movement. And the uh, Ladanian Tomlinson figure sold for $14.55 with free shipping. I believe this was a 12% best offer that I sent out on this. It's been listed since May the 2nd of this year, 2021, and will ship at the pound 15 ounce rate. All right, now we've sold a DVD, so we'll go in an 864 box. Half a sheet of bubble wrap, which we have right over here. Well, let's go see if we can find the DVD. It is a DVD with a slip case, so I don't know if it'll be easier to see one that has a slip case or not. Eh, so far, not. All right. Go with the wind.
uh, right there it is it is Oklahoma Rogers and Hempersteins 50th anniversary it is you know new and sealed and it does come with the slip case slide that right on down and in DVD sold for ten dollars with free media mail shipping. It's been listed since May the 17th of this year 2021 and will ship at the eight ounce rate. And now we have a kitchen tile. Also, I realize these are called trivets. Here it is. It is this skeleton cat with a fish. You know, I put Day of the Dead in the catchphrase, I think. Earth tones made in 2012. You know, you can hang them up on the wall. You know, people set the hot dishes on them and that kind of stuff. This will ship in that uh, eBay 1086 box we had just a moment ago. I mean, go get another sheet or two of bubble wrap for my order stuff. Let's see. Don't really have much to choose from right now. Oh, there we go. There's some good ones. And then I might go ahead and get a few of these air mailer things too. These are fairly fragile, so you want to be cautious with them. I know they're supposed to be sturdy and everything, but they, they do chip real easy and they'll break real easy. So, I do wrap them in a sheet of bubble wrap. Let me move it this way just a little bit. There we go. Let's tape it up real good in this sheet. I tape the end so it can't slide about and move around. You know, at least not out of the bubble wrap. There we go. Put our other bubble wrap in. Oh, 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 come on now. You want it to fit just, you want to make sure that other bubble wrap is protecting it, not just, there we go. So now it can't, and now I'll see about these air mailers on the top, air pocket things. No movement, so we're good to go. And this trivet or tile, I believe was six inches by six inches. I have some smaller ones that are 4x4, four four, and I think I've sold some that were as big as 12x12, 12 12, or maybe 8x8, eight eight. but uh, this one went for $14 plus shipping. It's been listed since October the 23rd of last year, 2020, and will ship at the pound 15 ounce rate. Okay, now we have this power supply. I think this was for a printer, but I'm not sure. Panasonic... VB44030, I think was the uh, printer. I think it was for a printer, but like I said, I am not sure anymore. But this is a power supply that will ship in a uh, eBay 1210 8 box. I'm going to put it, it doesn't necessarily need to go into one of these, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in a uh, anti-static bag. Just to be on the safe side. Like I said, it's terrible. I don't remember what this is. I'm quite certain it's not a computer power supply. And a printer is the only other thing I can think of that it would be for. Let me get two sheets of bubble wrap. And we'll use the last two sheets. that last sheet got kind of all ripped up but uh, yeah this has been listed for quite a while and that's what another reason why I can't I guess remember what it was actually to
I went and found it off camera just to make sure I could find it. And I thought it was going to be in the garage, but it was on the wall with all the parts boxes. And there are some other boards in the box, but I don't recognize what, you know, it's not like a motherboard and stuff that I'd normally see. So, any rate, I guess the buyer knows what it's to. Like I said, eBay branded 12108 box. That is a beautiful thing about eBay. You don't even have to know what it is to sell it. You know, what it does, anything like that. There we go. And again, I'm going to go out here and grab some of this bubble wrap from Orders. And maybe some of these air mailer pocket things. Oh, see this? That thing's long. Shut those down. more bubble wrap before I put the uh, that would be before I put the uh, air mailers in right now it could go side to side and bang around a lot it can still do it I'm trying to use a bunch of these uh, smaller things and the ones that, you know, don't have a whole lot of air in them, try to use them all up, pack it on in. All right, now let's see about these things. So this power supply sold for $31.95 plus shipping. It did take over five years. It's been listed since May the 19th of 2016. So, but I mean, it didn't take up a lot of space on the wall. And it will ship at the four pound, 15 ounce rate. Okay, our next item is this Hawaiian charger model kit as you can tell the box is in just absolutely horrible shape all squashed you know the kit itself still looks new and sealed it looks complete except no instructions and no decals so I listed this yesterday oh, spiders for free I listed this yesterday, and I just took a best offer of $55 plus shipping. And I'm going to go ahead and get it packaged up. No one's so dead, it's just disintegrating. Alright, uh, I'm going to need both hands and everything to wrap this up, because I need to wrap it up tight. It is going to go in an uh, eBay box that you're 12 six six boxes get shipped to you in and it will fit in that really nicely so i'll come back after i get this nice and wrapped up all right as you can see i wrapped it up in bubble wrap nice and tight i did tape both ends so nothing can come out or move and it fills the box nicely there's no need for any other padding so now we'll just tape it up and send it on its way I guess, 
you know you can either i don't know if the instructions are downloadable or if maybe they have another model kit you know that has the instructions but i almost uh threw the body and stuff away because i saw somebody had just the tires and it's at auction and it was up to like uh i think 28 dollars just for the four tires all right like i said this model kit sold for 55 dollars plus shipping it was listed less than 24 hours i listed it yesterday july the 12th of 2021 and it'll ship at the two pound 15 ounce rate okay now we have a xenoscope comic book musketeers there we go 3c very good well these are much better than very good these are very fine let me leave one out we'll take the bagged and boarded one that one should be the very good and when we sell similar i'll take new pictures and we'll put it on as very fine because that was much much nicer all right here you go musketeers issue three cover c this is the josh burns cover and this will ship in a gemini mailer the morning mail pickup just came by a few minutes ago so this will go out this afternoon Tape it down so it doesn't move around. The Musketeers, number 3C. Like I said, Josh Burns cover. Sold for $2.35 plus shipping. And it has been listed for just over a year. It was listed July the 3rd of last year, 2020. And it will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Okay, it is after lunch. I did go buy more bubble wrap. And we have a few more orders to do up. Our first one is a model kit. And we need to go here in the garage and get it. And this is from the... Uh, collection where the boxes are all in really terrible shape this box actually wasn't in that bad a shape it's it's pretty bad but it's not as bad as the others and i'll give you a better view in the packing room there we go this is the hangman fiendish custom tow truck and as you can see this box is bad i mean it's in really rough shape but it's not as bad as those others stuff can move a little bit in there not a whole lot but i'm going to still go ahead and see this kit had actually been somewhat started but they took good care of the uh, decals which you know is very good Let's set that right over there and now we'll get a half a piece of bubble wrap to put down inside but yeah these boxes are just terrible but the model kits are still selling really well and so i've already done up the priority mail shoe box we'll take a sheet of bubble wrap and cut it in half and then I fold this piece twice and just set it down at the bottom of the box. And now with another sheet of bubble wrap, we will wrap the model kit up in it. Make it a pretty tight uh, wrap so that the kit doesn't, uh, you know, come loose or anything. Put that on down. And this one we fold in half and then roll. And it'll fit right at the top and hold the model kit nice and secure where it can't move around.
There we go. This model kit, I took a best offer this morning. $75 plus shipping. It took less than 24 hours for this to sell. I listed it yesterday afternoon, July the 12th of 2020. Hey, and look, it'll ship at the 15 ounce rate. Now we have a comic book, a razor and she special number one. Let's see. Oh, UPS. All right, that was UPS with my order. And now we have this razor and she special number one. This is the platinum edition. And it's published by London Night Studios. That will ship in a Gemini mailer. And I believe this came out of the $12,000 deal. So, another little bit to chip away at that collection. We got it taped down so it won't move around, hopefully. The Razor She Special Number One sold for six dollars and forty-five cents plus shipping, and it has been listed since June the seventeenth of this year, twenty twenty-one. And let's see here, it will ship at the eight ounce rate. Okay, now we have a person that bought nine items. The first is a Mad Magazine. Obviously a Superman parody, number 208. And then they got eight comic books. Fantastic Four, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Alien Legion, uh, Fantastic Fours, Uncanny X-Men, and Alien Legion. So we will put these in a tie back envelope and the comics can shift a little bit because obviously they're smaller than the magazine but we try to keep that a pretty tight fit so you get a sheet of bubble wrap And then tape the sides real well, as basically as tight as you can without bending any of the, the magazine, I guess, since it sticks out further. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to put this in a regional rate A box. And they've been kind of thin, so we've had to, we've been having to do this and put a, another sheet of bubble wrap on the outside. So I'll go ahead and do it on this. Now we'll get the regional rate A box. I'll have to reload on these. There we go. Now these, sh these should slide right on in. Hopefully it's a little bit tight. Yeah, there we go. A little bit tight on the, the sides here. I'm going to put a half a sheet up toward the top to prevent any top movement. There we go. Now that's all set. And for these nine items, eight comic books and a magazine, the buyer paid $21.69 plus shipping. And the oldest that I could see is the uh, Mad Magazine. And it had been listed since May the 7th of 2016, so a little over five years. And we don't have to weigh it. It's a regional rate A box, and we're nowhere near the weight limit. All right, now we have a Conan comic book. Here we go. Conan the Barbarian, 
issue 148, published by Marvel Comics. This will ship in a Gemini mailer. And I took FedEx down and dropped it off because in about two hours I'm supposed to meet the fella that I bought the uh, Dungeons and Dragons box set and some board games and the Robotech figures off of. I'm supposed to meet him at his storage unit. He's trying to downsize everything. And I need to see what he wants to let go of. He, he's already said he has like one or two pretty good sized boxes filled with Gundam wing model kits. And I bought one Gundam model kit off of him the last time he came here. And it's been listed. And I have not had any offers and haven't sold it yet. So I don't know really how good the Gundam kits are. Oop. And I don't know what else he has. But he was like, you know, if you want to come to the storage unit and look around, you know, you're more than welcome to do that. And uh, he said there's some things, of course, he'd want to keep. Sentimental things, you know, where he grew up with. And I was like, hey, that's fine. It does not hurt my feelings to pick out stuff and be told no. You know, so... I'm going to head there in about two hours, and we'll see what what he has, and what he doesn't, and what he wants to let go of, and all that. This uh, Conan comic book sold for $1.65 plus shipping. It's been listed since June the 5th of last year, or no, June the 5th of 2019, so two years ago. And we'll ship at the 8 ounce rate. Okay, now we've sold a pint glass. Let's see. This one right here. This is from National Lampoon's Vacation. And it's the Wally World. I called it the group pint glass. As you can see, it's all the Wally World characters. Like that. It is new in the box, but as you can see, the box got dinged and crushed corner here. That will ship in an 864. Or no, sorry, 1086 eBay branded box. I've been taking photos and listing more of those open model kits that are the boxes are in horrendous shape. And it's really surprising. Some of these kits are pretty big money. And, and I mean, to me, pretty big money, you know, for a model kit is that $30 to $100 range, especially as bad as these boxes are. And uh, I was really surprised because uh, there are some metal uh, model kits uh, that are made by Hubley. And it looks like I have a kit that might be in the $120 to $150 range. So getting some very pleasant surprises there all right we wrapped it up in one sheet of bubble wrap and we use that other sheet to hold it steady and now we need a half a sheet of bubble wrap or we might be able to do another whole one let's see yeah there we go tuck in those sides and it's got the top level with the box so it is very well protected all the way around And this Wally World pint glass sold for $14.75 plus shipping. And it has been listed since July the 20th of 2019. And will ship at a pound 15 ounce rate. Okay, I just sold this model kit. The Meister Bra. It's a pull tractor dragster uh, this is part of the deal where the boxes were in terrible shape this one's actually not that bad I'd say you know it's a good minus condition or so and it looks like the model kit had not been started it is too big to go in a uh, priority mail shoe box I mean it'll fit but these sides right here are touching the box there's no padding at all 
and so I'm going to ship it in an eBay branded 12108 box so that it actually does have some room before the box edge. We're wrapping it up in two sheets of bubble wrap. And this, I listed the, I guess it's the exact same model, but it's later called the Blazing Bison. And I listed the Blazing Bison yesterday, and then saw this one today, and was like, I thought it was a similar model, you know, like the same tractor pull kind of model. But I did not realize it is the same model. Right, so now it'll slide right down into the box. There we go. Doesn't have a whole lot of room on the sides here, but it is at least uh, one sheet of bubble wrap. And then on the other sides, we have two. I'm going to get some more of those air pocket mailer things. I've been trying to use these today. I'm going to use them up so I don't have to move them. The afternoon mail pickup has already been by, so this will go out tomorrow. And I should be heading out in the next 15 to 30 minutes to go look at this fella's storage unit and see what, what he wants to get rid of and what he doesn't. Now this model kit only lasted about an hour. It sold uh, for $50 plus shipping, and it was listed today, July 13th of 2020, and it'll ship at the pound 15 ounce rate. And like I said, it lasted about an hour. All right, so I did go to the fellow storage unit. I was a little bit disappointed because I was expecting a lot more collectible stuff, and uh, I didn't really see that, but I did get quite a bit of stuff. Let's see, we got all these Gundam model kits, but I think they're all built. This one's partially built. I think the others are all built, and I don't know how those will do. And then I have two binders of magic cards. I think he said there's nothing really good in there. Uh, a game, like a role-playing, kind of like a Dungeons & Dragons kind of game. Let's see, there we go. Tunnels and Trolls. Let's see when's this from. I don't see a date on the back, but we'll see. Uh, this Duke Nukem computer game he said was pretty big. And it does seem big, but it's big, you know, if you have the mouse pad that comes in it. Uh, I couldn't find this Dungeon Escape game. Then I have a lot of what I got was computer parts. And these are video cards. I did get a uh, Ultra Magnus Transformer G1. And it looks like it is missing the missiles. But other than that, it might be complete. So it might be worth buying the missiles. And then here's a couple other Transformers G1. So I got those. And then this box is Gundam models that have not been built. This one's really big. I mean, it's the whole box. And I think he said this big one right here, or on the bottom, there's another big one. And he said he had put the chest together, and that was it. But all the rest of these have not been started. On the bottom box right here is just a uh, gateway tower computer that he said he was building. And then it's just computer parts. Uh, I did get this Nintendo 64 video game cabinet. But then it's some motherboards and power supplies and RAM. So, mainly computer stuff. He did have a decent amount of other Magic the Gathering cards. And he said, you know, when he was playing, there was pretty good value there. But he's not sure now. And so he wants to look them up and stuff and see what the value is before you know quote me a price 
and so the good thing too is he had a super nintendo he didn't want to sell it to me but he said i could borrow it and you know i have all those games back there so tomorrow i will be testing those games and like that chrono trigger game as long as it works it's like 175 to 200 dollars so i told him i'd give him a little something kind of rental fee on that oh i forgot to show you this i think is a, another computer card uh computer card and then those vhs's right there and they're nothing big but you know the nightmare on elm street and the halloween might be you know 10 bucks a piece eight or ten bucks so i did get that but uh at the end he was like oh, okay you know he found my site the other day and i, I gave him a hard drive uh the other day but he was like hey i, I saw your site and i saw some of the, my stuff on there and i was like oh okay and so at the end he he was trying to come up with a price and uh he was at 475 and i was like what what is big here and he couldn't i mean he came up with about uh 400 dollars worth of stuff but then i'm kind of like you know you're a long way from profit but on his first two deals they gave me a 200 dollars a piece those were really good deals and so i told him hey man i'll give you 400 on this stuff and he was like yeah hey, okay and so i felt that was that was good and i was giving him a little bit on this stuff that i'd done well on so that was that and now it's kind of late so i'm gonna head on to the house get some rest i'll have to move this stuff out of the way for tomorrow uh at this point in time i'm not sure what i'll actually list or if i should just go ahead and box this stuff up tape it up and get it ready for the move and then list it some other time but tomorrow i will hook up the super nintendo he said it worked and i will hook that up test the games and get those listed so i hope you all have a good night tonight and we will see you again tomorrow for more packages bye bye